video I talked about a kettle from Time More that allowed me to pour super slow which is necessary for some of the gassier coffees out there. But today in this video I wanted to review their C3 Pro hand grinder. Now Time More was so nice to sponsor this video by sending me one of these to see what I thought about it. So let's get right into the video and talk about the C3 Pro. If you guys are new here, welcome to Tales. My name is Vincent. And we named it Tales because I love to share stories about the coffees. It's not always just about the brewing methods, but it's about how we talk about the coffees and how we view coffees. Currently, I find that a lot of the coffees are, there's a lot of information that I find is unnecessary. So instead of doing that, we actually like to share stories. But along with that, you might know me more for the brewing techniques and the brewing ideas that I actually come up with because I don't really know much about coffee. So if you want to follow along the journey about how I learn more about coffee, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can get the latest updates on my newest techniques. So once again, thank you Time More for sending me this beautiful hand grinder. Um, I didn't do an unboxing video because I really needed to test out the grinder before I really talked about it and made sure I liked it enough, you know? But here's the box. Um, it comes with three main things, actually. The grinder, this pouch, and then there's this brush. Now the brush is really important because once you're done using your hand grinder, um, you can actually brush out all the dust and the remaining particles in there. So make sure to keep this around, don't lose it. It's great for cleaning out your grinder. And then the pouch is amazing because if you're gonna go camping or if you're gonna go hiking or bring it to the office, wherever it is, your grinder kind of just fits in there. It fits in there. Well, I'm kind of clumsy with this stuff, but it, it fits in there. I'm just really bad at this. Okay, well, maybe you have to take it apart and fit in there. Ha! Huh. I have actually not put it in the pouch. Let's do it together. Oh, so you do have to take it apart and put in the pouch, um, well, pull that together and there's your hand grinder. So uh, let's get that back out and talk about the grinder. Now, first thing to note is, can't get the brush out. Gah! Okay. <laughs> first thing to note is that when you store it away, sometimes if you have like the, the handle just out, it takes up a lot of space. Instead, what they've done is to make it more compact, you can pull on it and it folds. This thing is just so fun to play with, I can't really stop myself. Now the second thing is, right off the bat, this thing is a very beautiful finish. Um, the metal is done well, this, this handle, it just feels very nice and flowy, um, easy to work with. And the material and the texture on this grinder itself is very easy to grip. So you're gonna have good grip, good motion, and I um, actually took apart the bearings once. I took, took everything out, and the ball bearings are really, really good. So um, the transfer of power is just amazing. As for how you use this grinder to set your, your grind size, um, it's set at the bottom. Do a little B-roll cut here, but you, to set it, um, you always want to turn it towards the right to the most fine setting. Now when you turn it, make sure to hold the handle, otherwise this happens, and you don't want that because you're not setting anything up. What you want to do is you want to hold onto it, and you turn all the way until it stops. So this is calibrating it back to the zero, and from here, you can choose how coarse or how fine it is. Now, for my single pour technique, um, I have been finding success 
around the 10 clicks. Sometimes I might go to the nine or the eight, but it, it seems to work at the 10. I might have miscounted, too distracted. And then you put it back together. So the beans essentially just go at the top. You wanna to weigh your amount out and then put it in here. Generally, this fits about 20 grams of beans. You, that, I think the most I have ever put in here at once is about 25 grams. Um, so it's best for single dose coffees or single cup do coffees. Um, with 25 grams of beans, you're not gonna really be brewing much more than like 300, 400 grams of water. So that's about all this is good for um, in terms of cup size. It's a great single cup coffee hand grinder. I've already heat up um, my filter and my dripper, but let me show you guys a quick routine of how I would use a hand grinder. And let's go, 20 grams of beans. We have it set to the 10 clicks already on here. Um, you're just gonna put your, your beans in here. Fills it up nice right up to the, to the rim right there. And we put our thing on. And then from here, all you do is you just grind. Now because um, the time war at 10 clicks is actually a little bit finer than what I normally use on my Malconic, the only reason why I suggested to use 10 clicks is because it's a little bit more uniform. If you wanted, you could probably go around the 12 to the 14 clicks um, to get more grind size more similar to my Malconic size, but um, I, I prefer to use the 10 and we can just do a quick brew. So let me reset the camera quickly so you guys can get a slightly better view. And because it's finer, we're gonna use less agitation during the brew process. Just get to the edges, go back to the middle, and just pour to the desired amount. I'm just gonna be doing 250 grams. And then from here, we just give it a quick stir. You wanna make sure the crust is completely absorbed and boom. Not the best of my brews. Um, if you guys want to take a look, I'm, I wasn't used to this bean, never worked with this bean before. In fact, I don't even know what this bean is. I uh, have this jar of randomly mixed coffees from my previous roasting night, and there was just a lot of extras that I couldn't bag up. Just a little bit here and there, so I kept throwing it in there. Um, but yeah, uh, normally it wouldn't turn out this poorly, but just a rough idea for you guys. Um, this probably was a slightly darker coffee that I had finished off with. I thought it was a little bit lighter from the color originally, but it might've been a little bit darker. Um, you don't want to have this on the sides as I've talked before. It's a pretty good notification that I didn't create enough agitation. There's too much un, 
unsaturated grinds on the sides, so you want to avoid that. Um, had I known that there was a little bit, or it was a darker coffee, I wouldn't have brewed particularly like this, but that's just roughly how I would um, do a coffee with a Time Wars C3 Pro. This hand grinder actually is quite consistent at the finer size, which is why I opted in for the 10, but because you're using grinds on the 10th level, um, you are gonna be a little bit more on the finer side, but it is quite even at that range, and that allows you to have a nice even extraction. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave me a like if you liked it, and thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.